Hi, my name is Tom from Simplified's product management team. In this video, I will introduce you to the new Playbook Simulator feature and show you how to boost your Playbook development process by using it. The Playbook Simulator is a new feature that allows you to confidently build and test your Playbook logic, speed up the development process, and test any third-party integration under any set of conditions. To demonstrate the Playbook Simulator, we will use an EDR use case. In our use case, our EDR solution ingested into Simplify an alert regarding suspicious file in one of our assets. I've created a simple playbook to automate the triage process. Let's go over it together. The first step of our playbook is the playbook trigger, which was set to alert type to handle this specific kind of alert. The second step is the virus total scan hash action. The action will pick the file hashes from the case and send them to virus total for evaluation. The third step of the playbook is the condition, which is using the virus total results. If the file hash found as suspicious, we will escalate the case. If the file hash found as not suspicious, we will create not malicious tag. Now that we have our playbook ready, we would like to test it. To do so, we will turn on the playbook simulator by turning on this toggle. We can now see the playbook simulator console at the bottom of the screen. Before running the simulator, we need to select a test case to run the playbook against. Test cases can be easily generated from the case overview by clicking on alert and then simulate alert. After selecting a test case, we need to make sure it fits our playbook. We can do so by clicking on the entities button and inspect the case entities. As we can see, we have file hash entity which fits our EDR use case and we are good to go. Now that we have our playbook and test case, we can run the simulator and immediately see the playbook steps being executed. Know that manual actions will wait for user input and can be executed by the orange manual action button in the console. Now, when the playbook simulator finished, we can inspect the results. At the bottom row, we can see the playbook trigger that indicates whether the trigger matches to the test case. In case it wasn't matched, it would be marked as failed. From the second row, we can see the playbook steps. Each row in the console represents a step in the playbook ordered by the sequence of the execution, left to right, bottom to top. Let's go over the simulator results, starting from the virus total action. For your convenience, we separated the results to case data and action results. Let's start with the case data. The case data dialog represents the case information when the specific step finished running, and it allows you to follow the evolution of the data with each step. Here you can find information about the case data, alert fields, event row fields and the entities including the entities enrichments. You can see that virus total mark the hash as suspicious in addition to the virus total enrichment fields. The view results dialog represent the action results and look exactly the way your analysts will see it on the case overview or case wall screen. In the results tab you can find CSV tables, online report links and more information from VirusTotal. In the Technical Details tab, you can find technical information such as the action scope, parameters, script result, and JSON result, which is the raw response of the action. The JSON result can be pinned from here and then be used with the Expression Builder to extract and manipulate specific information. Next, let's take a look in our condition. In this condition, we are checking if virus total marked the file hash as suspicious. As we can see, it was found as suspicious and therefore we are choosing the first branch. The next action is the escalate case. We can see the step on the canvas by clicking the row on the console. When opening the case data of this step, we can see that the case priority was raised into critical. By viewing the case data of the previous action, we can tell that the priority was changed and our logic is working as expected. Now. It's time to test our playbook logic under different scenarios. To test the behavior of the condition under a different set of results, we can manipulate the virus total results by setting fixed simulation data and mark the hash as not malicious. To manipulate the results, we can use one of two optional ways. The first way is to click on the step, turn on simulate toggle and insert the results manually. The second way is to use the pin results. The pin results will return these current results for the next executions without running the action code. You can edit the script results, the JSON results, which is the raw response of the action, and add or edit enrichments. 
In our case, we will change the script result from true to false and save the action. Clicking save will change the step color to gray, which indicates simulation mode. Now, let's rerun the playbook simulator to test our new flow. At this time, we can see that after the condition, we can find the add tag step. Opening the case data dialog will reveal two things. First, we can see that we have added a new not malicious tag. Second, we can see that the case priority remained informative. Now, when we gained enough confidence with our playbook logic, we can prepare it for production. When turning off the playbook simulator, all steps will be converted into live mode and the simulation data will be saved for further use. The last thing we need to do is to enable the playbook and save it. That's it, we are done.